Welcome Gemini's. I'm back y'all with another video. So it has been quite some time. I'm happy to be back here with you guys. So let's talk. This is going to be a love reading for the month of August. It is a general read. So if it resonates, all the better. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. All right, so let's get into it. Got a jumper. All right, let's 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 get it popping. So at the bottom of the deck, we have very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. So it looks like there's a decision that needs to be made. Some of you, you're, get, you're either about to get become engaged and get married or your relationship has the possibility of going to the next level, for sure, for sure. But there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. Children could be involved. Children could play a factor, as well as your finances and your career. I feel like there's a lot of playfulness going on, okay? So there could be... Maybe you feel like this person is, is being playful, or you feel very young when you're with this person. This person could be younger than you. Or vice versa. We got let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And we also got deception here. Yeah, there's a lot of flirting going on, okay? So, yes. Okay. Someone could want to heal this connection. I see this as well. Healing uh, family issues. I do see what you really do have a lot of romantic feelings for this person. But there's a, just some deception here. The deception could come from someone flirts too much. Someone acts very childlike. And someone could possibly have control issues. However, someone in this situation is being deceptive. And someone still wants to give this relationship a chance. Someone still wants to work on the partnership. That's what it's definitely looking like to me. Definitely trust issues here. For sure, for sure. Is it safe to love? Is it safe for me to let my guard down? Um, do I deserve better? I know I deserve better or I could do better, but I'm definitely getting trust issues. So these could be questions like, you know, is it safe for me to let my guard down? This person has already deceived, you know, show me um, some red flags, but I'm getting like some of you wanting to push forward and work on a partnership. And it may be because you're married to this person. Um, or you want to get married to this person. This person could be promising you a uh, next level um, energy. So let's uh, let's take it a step further. Let's see what we get here. And let me see what the energy is. About Gemini person, how does Gemini person feel about the Gemini? I'm actually getting like a trip. This person wants to take a trip with you. This person wants to get away with you. Yes, this person really desires you. Like we got desire. This person really is like really lusty over you as well. We got love struck. So I do feel like this person does have. Um, a desire for you. They're sexually attracted to you. You could be at a distance from this person right now, or there's distance between you, you and this person, or I'm getting a lot of communication coming in, possibly about a trip, a getaway. Um, this person definitely is love struck over you. This person does have emotions for you for sure. I feel like they um, could be a little worried about home life. We got domesticated. This is two people at the home. You know, they are uh, worried in the sense of 
moving in together or how things will be together with you two. Um, I'm getting like moving in together, being around each other more. Yeah, so I'm getting fearful too. This person could could be fearing. Um, they're taking some time to clear their head as well too. So let's pull the tarot and see what messages, what additional messages we get. Some messages for Gemini, please. Give me some answers for Gemini's. What does Gemini's need to know for August, please? What does Gemini's need to know for the month of August? We got the three of pentacles that wanted to jump. Yeah, see, I'm definitely getting, like, a final decision being made, okay, on whether you two are going to be able to work together, collab, build something together, and it's definitely having something to do with some type of foundation, okay, possibly even a marriage. Somebody possibly wants to work on a marriage or work on a live-in situation, but a final decision needs to be made, okay? I do see somebody could... Um, is waiting to see if somebody you could be waiting to see if this person is going to change their mind this person could you could be feeling like this person isn't really giving you much to look forward to um so your guard could be up yeah see i'm getting somebody Somebody's definitely feeling like you could be feeling like this. You and this person are a match, okay? The perfect match. We got the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, the Emperor, okay? This is the perfect match. This is the perfect pair. And the opportunity is in front of you guys right now on being able to build and collab and work together. It is going to take a lot of work, okay? We got the Two of Cups. This is a union. Uh, this is a, a, could be a twin flame or a soulmate. And a new start for you guys. All right. So. You got the two of wands, eight of swords, nine of cups, the tower, three of cups. King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the High Priestess. The plan is to come together. The plan is to come together. I feel like this is something that you could be thinking about. You're looking at your finances. You're looking at their finances. Are you guys on the same page when it comes to finances? I do see like a plan. Like you thinking about a plan. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The sun, yeah. Yeah, it's like you can vivid, like you see everything clear. You, you're thinking is like, I can see all this clearly. Like us being together, us, us doing this, us going on trips, us living together, us taking things to the next level, basically. Why is the three of pentacles here? Page of pentacles. There is definitely talks about this is beginning stages of building something together okay for sure for sure there's a plan here with the two of wands for success six of wands yes <laughs> so there's a plan yeah to grow something like for sure for sure seven of pentacles two of wands you really want to see where something goes i feel like you may have been um, came out of something that was very unfortunate, a very unfortunate situation for you with this five of pentacles energy here. Maybe there was a lot of back and forth um, with the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles. So you want to make sure that, you know, you make the right move this time. I feel like you may have 
going through something or going through a period that you're like, I'm never going to go back to that again. This time I'm going to make sure when I make this move, this is going to be my best move. Okay, so you're putting this out on the table. Why is the nine of cups here? Yes, you want to either you want to accept this offer or you want this person to accept the offer. But there's definitely an offer on the table to take things to the next level. Now, for some of you, I'm getting, I'm hearing that someone may need to get a divorce. Okay. I'm seeing that as well. But there is an offer on the table or you want this person to offer this to you. But definitely, tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Nine of Swords, yeah. I feel like you want this offer possibly from this King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They don't necessarily have to be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, but they can carry that energy. Now, the King of Pentacles energy is someone who's very goal-oriented, very focused and driven in their career, um, you know, just very settled. This is husband material as well. Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Page of Wands, yeah. I feel like you're you're thinking about this. Like I keep getting everything indicating that you're in your head about this. You're thinking about this, like almost obsessive over, like thinking about planning this in your head. Why is a tower here? You could be dealing with the Scorpio, but in the past there was. Oh, okay. So somebody out of the blue, there was a decision that somebody had to make. Somebody may have had a few different offer options. Okay, you were waiting, waiting for somebody to choose. Maybe this person came and brought you the, brought you an offer. Because it looks like you're celebrating moving forward. Some of you could definitely deal with the Capricorn. You was waiting for this person to stop some type of toxic behavior. You were surprised with their choice. And you was waiting for them to stop. You had faith in this person. You may have done some magic for some. I'm seeing some magic being done here. To keep somebody from going back and forth. Somebody left somebody. I'm seeing that as well too. Tell me why the nine of wands is here. The emperor. This could be this person could be older than you, could be an Aries, or this person is very controlling. I'm I'm definitely seeing children being involved. I'm getting a lot of conflict as well, too. A possible breakup or divorce. Something in the past happened that was very surprising out of the blue. It was a lot, somebody had a lot of options or Somebody decided to make some type of choice out of the blue. And things were kind of possibly in the air. But definitely somebody has some type of toxic traits. Um, maybe they're extremely controlling, possessive. Um, tell me more about this emperor energy. Two of pentacles. Yeah, somebody was extremely too controlling. Okay. Somebody was trying to get somebody back. Um, yeah, the past energy is very, it's nothing like the energy that's present and moving forward. So, like I said, I felt like you guys may have just gotten out of something that was like extreme. Tell me more about this three of cups moving forward. The hermit, you could be dealing with the Virgo. I feel like you're thinking about whether or not returning to someone, like reconciling. It's definitely about a reconciliation. Maybe you've been avoiding this person or you're just heavily thinking. And I think for some of you, because I kept getting like the energy of you being in your head. Maybe you're considering going back to someone. Tell me why the hermit is here. The star it could be an Aquarius. But I feel like when it ended, it ended possibly really bad. You've been spying on this person. 
seeing what they got going on, popping in and popping out. Um, why is the star card here? Justice. Could be dealing with the Libra. But you possibly are hoping that the scales are balanced now. But I see you being cautious, like waiting or wondering like if you should take this risk of going back. But you're not sure if you're going to regret this decision. Maybe this time you want a better offer. You want things to go to the next level. Like right off the bat, it's no going back to th how things used to be. Why is the king of pentacles here? The strength, okay. Could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like you're very financially stable. You've been working on your finances. You've been working on your confidence as well too. Somebody definitely does have, like, this big ego. Somebody's, like, bragging about their business or their accomplishments. Somebody's ego is really, really big. Why is the Five of Swords here? I think you're starting to see the big picture about this person. Why is the Five of Swords here? The Six of Swords, yeah. I keep getting that you could be at a distance from this person. I feel like you're thinking about it, but you're like, man, I might regret that. If I give this person another chance, this person childish, they got that little ways. I don't know. Now, this person over here, their energy is the Seven of Swords. Yeah. They could be feeling like they're going to start cheating or start lying or, yeah, the temperance could be a Sagittarius. A lot of spying going on. This person is watching you. Um, you could be their baby mother. I keep getting baby mother, baby father energy with this empress here. Someone could possibly be expecting. But I'm getting a lot of spying on you. Trying to see what you got going on. Looking at your growth. They're trying to see who their competition is. This person could be mad because they don't didn't want you to walk out. Um, and this person feels like they owe you an apology or you owe them an apology. But somebody doesn't want to apologize. Somebody really, I feel like they they know they owe you an apology. Could it possibly be because they started cheating or they did something that was sneaky. They lost your trust. They lost your trust. So I feel like they know that they owe you an apology. But I don't know if they're really that open to like give that to you. Why is the seven of wands? Like not at this time. I see some competition. Like you fear like, what am I up against? What am I up against? I, I'm like, you know, like, what is this? Okay, if this, I, I really feel like that's a fear. Like, you're checking the scene out to see what you're up against. There's that Empress again. Ten of Pentacles. I see you being very well off. And it's like, okay, well, what, what, what would I be getting out of this situation? Let's see what your intuition is telling you because we got the high priestess as the outcome. Knight of Wands. Your intuition could be telling you that this person is just too temporary and the moon. Like this person carries some secrets. This person is, you know, a mystery to you. You don't know um, everything you need to know about this person or what they have going on. I do feel like children could be involved though. And this person is really hasty. Like, this person moves around a lot. Like, I'm getting like a little street runner. I'm getting like a little street a little street runner. But I do see you guys' energy being very successful. Like, whatever you guys are doing, we got the lovers, which is you guys' energy, nine of pentacles, and the four of wands. Like, I'm getting, like, very successful. Like, you're very well off by yourself. It's like you don't even need this person. Like, if it's... If you want to go back, it's completely your choice, up to you. Um, the ball would be completely in your court. But I do see you looking at this situation like, what am I up against? Your intuition could be telling you that this person is a player. 
that this person is, the situation would be temporary. You got the Knight of Wands and the Moon. This person could be a knight, you know, like in the streets, okay? This person runs the streets at night. This is something that you may know about this person, that they're always in and out. We got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Like, this is somebody who's just there and then they're gone. Your intuition is telling you this. So this is definitely an ex, somebody that you've already had dealings with. Um, that you may know that, you know what, I might regret this situation. So it's definitely something to think about. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below, all right? Because this is some tea, all right? If you're interested in booking a personal read, guys, all of the information to contact me via email is in the drop box below. You can reach out to me. We'll get you set up. And until next time, my loves, ciao for now.